They are students of class 10 A and B. Today I am going to teach you about this lesson. Lesson number one, I am going to revise you the points. The points which I taught you earlier, now I am going to revise you. And the remaining part of uh, the, this uh, lesson, I am going to revise. Now the anti-defection law. What is anti-defection law? Anti-defection law is a law which was passed by the parliament in the year uh, 2003, 2nd January. Now why was it passed? In order to check uh, the possibility of changing party from one party to another party by the mem members of parliament, the anti-defection law was passed. Why? There was a time uh, when opportunistic, you know, MPs were changing their allegiance from one party to another and voting against the party ideologies. This created great confusion in the parliament. So to stop this, the anti-defection law was passed and it states that any member leaving the party which they represented for the election will be disqualified from the house. And this act was passed, you know, on 2nd January 2003 and now what is joint session? A session which is held for uh, resolving the differences between the two houses of parliament, the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha. This session is known as a joint session. Now sometimes some members, uh, you know, some members uh, they can, uh, they can uh, resign from their, uh, you know, posts. In that case, some seats get vacant. In that case, uh, it is elected. But what are the causes? Sometimes the seats get vacant. There are some causes. Resignation of uh, resignation of a member, a submission of resignation letter of a member to the speaker, and uh, the absence from the house for uh, more than uh, sixty days and uh, disqualification, disqualified under the anti-defection law and uh, subject of disqualification let down by the constitution or any, uh, any act of parliament, seats can be, uh, seats uh, can, uh, seats gets vacant and in that case seats get vacant and a further election is held. Now official languages of parliament, there are two official languages of parliament, number one, English and number two Hindi. Both the two languages are uh, uh, practiced. Uh, two languages are allowed to be uh, discussed uh, in the house in the process of debate and discussions. But sometimes some, you know, member of parliament, they use their mother tongues like Tamil, like Bengali, like Bhojpuri. In that case, there is a system of translation. That means from Bhojpuri to English or from, Bhoj, or from Bengali to Hindi or English, uh, this system of translation also is introduced in the house for the for better understanding of the speaker. And next one, the budget. The budget is very important part. It's in the form of the money bill. The budget is produced in the, before the speaker. It is produced by the finance minister uh, on behalf of the president of India. So budget is passed in the house uh, every year. Uh, now what is budget? Budget is a letter. Budget is a system of earning money throughout the year or uh, the um, expenditure of expenditure of the government throughout the year. That means how much amount of money the government can earn and how much amount of money the government requires to be spent. This system is known as budget. In the form of a money bill, the budget is produced before the speaker. The speaker, you know, uh, is generally responsible to pass the budget because the system of passing the budget is mandatory. But sometimes uh, it can be happen budget, uh, uh, the process of passing budget uh, got detained and then the budget is not budget not passed. That means the whole ministry has to resign. Whenever the budget, whenever the budget failed to be passed, the whole ministry has to resign. 
that means passing of budget is very important it's an important part that's why it is an important part of our, uh, our parliament on behalf of the president by the finance minister in the month of february each year budget is generally passed there are estimates for the ensuing year every month every april to march of the year to come the annual budget is the most important part most important money bill the annual budget if it is not passed parliament government must resign uh, the government must resign now what is appropriation bill appropriation bill is a bill before passing the budget the minister the respected minister has to make an assessment make make an estimate how much amount of money they require for the uh, ensuing year or how much amount of expenditure they has to, they had to they have to do through the ensuing year and the amount of money how much they require the amount of money how much they, uh, the amount of expenditure how much they uh, they spend this system is known as appropriation bill but each ministry to carry out its programs demands for money from the treasury they are these are the known as demands of for grant the demands of for grant is known as appropriation bill it is appropriation and uh, um, uh, the financial appropriation bill is very important before passing the money bill or the uh, passing, passing the budget now financial bill it is the second part of the budget to lok sabha for its approval it deals with all matters relating to receipts of income the government is required to how much amount of money the government requires and um, what types of taxes the government can uh, can impose on the people Uh, direct tax indirect tax and other taxes and proposal for taxation from the financial bill that's why financial bill is very important before uh, at the time when the government uh, decides to uh, make some direct tax indirect tax and other taxes the government has to produce one financial bill that's why financial bill also Uh, is a is an important part of budget or important part of uh, finance minister now procedure of legislation you know a bill can be passed in the house there are two types of bills money bill and ordinary bill money bill and ordinary bill which one is money bill which one is is, is an ordinary bill who recognizes it the speaker recognizes that that bill is money bill and that bill is an ordinary bill and then it is passed in the house whenever it fails to be passed in the house that means the whole ministry the in the form of budget the whole ministry has to resign that's why generally whenever money bill in the form of budget is produced before the speaker with the uh, with the co- with, co- with the cooperation of different minister uh, different members of uh, different parties generally it is passed and then the government continues govern uh, uh, governance and ordinary bill passing up ordinary bill it's not mandatory the money bill it is supposed to be passed but ordinary bill it uh, uh, it is not compulsory it can be passed it cannot be passed but the main function of the parliament is to legislate or create laws to make sure various laws the passing of bill uh, are the passing of bill uh, is a process through which uh, different steps different steps are followed while passing the bill number one step each bill is first reviewed by the speaker whether the bill is a money bill or an ordinary bill and next one and next one and in the second step the bill is introduced in the parliament by a minister or a member of parliament if it is if it is a money bill then it is introduced only in the lok sabha because money bill is introduced only in the lok sabha but not in the rajya sabha that's why uh, the members get familiar with the bill at the first reading and second third step it is the second reading of the bill this happens after the members are given time for debate and discussion they thoroughly discuss about the bill whether the bill should be passed or not an ordinary bill 
on money bill before passing debates and discussions are also done uh, before passing the money bill and uh, this is the third or uh, step four this is the third or final reading of the bill as this the bill in its final form is placed before the house for a vote in the house in the uh, if the majority uh, if the majority uh, goes majority goes against the bill the bill the process of passing the bill can be detained and uh, but it sent to the other house for its approval in case of a money bill it is sent to the rajya sabha rajya sabha is bound to give its consent and then the money bill is passed after uh, the fin final assent of the president of india now the bill goes through the same step five the bill goes through the same process of three readings in the second house and is voted upon if the house passes the bill then the bill goes to the president whenever both the two houses the lok sabha and the rajya sabha pass the bill then the bill goes to the office of the president the president then gives his consent either he he may give he, either he give his consent or he give uh, some suggestion some uh, you know uh, uh, some comments on it but it is depending on for the parliament whether the parliament would accept or would uh, reject it but ultimately the bill is passed and it makes law and next the bill step 6 the bill is again debated and the recommendation are discussed after which the bill is voted upon bills are controlled by the lok sabha because each and every bill which is produced in the lok sabha it is done in presence of the speaker so speaker give equal importance to all members members are allowed uh, uh, to open their mouth in support of the bill or against the bill and so uh, during the process of debate and discussions but rajya sabha they also can enjoy the same uh, privileges uh, like the members of parliament the members of lok sabha the bill then the bill goes to the president for approval in other cases the bill moves back and forth between the houses still the perfect form of bills is achieved seven step step number 7 the bill is then sent to the president for his assent no bill can become an act of parliament without president's approval but president is bound to sign may give his consent to the bill sometimes president may detain the process of uh, signing but ultimately the president has to sign as per the importance of the bill if the bill becomes an important bill uh, in resemblance with the need of the constitution in that case the president is bound to sign the bill but the process he may detain he may the process he may detain but it is depending on the nature he can give some suggestions some you know uh, uh, some comments on it but it is depending finally uh, after his approval the bill becomes a law or an act and step number 8 when the president signs the bill then it becomes an act the president may propose certain changes in the form of accommodation recommendation send it back however parliament is not bound to accept as i told you earlier but may send the bill back in its original form so the president has no option but to sign the bill so this shows that the president of india is only the ceremonial head of the state the president is the ceremonial head of the state the nominal head of the state he has no uh, power to obstruct the way of passing any bill he is bound to sign the bill in case of ordinary bill the bill is first passed by the house where it was original table and then put forward forwarded to other uh, house for its approval but where it may be kept for a maximum period of 6 month in the case of ordinary bill it can be kept there for maximum 6 months if 6 month elapses without any action of that particular house or if they reject the bill or the house that originally table the bill rejects the recommendation suggested by the member of parliament and other house it results in a deadlock in case of passing the ordinary bill but in case of passing money bill there is no system of uh, there is no system of this kind of deadlock deadlock because money bill they are bound to pass 
and president is supposed to sign the bill and then bill become ultimately a law or an act up to this my dear students next day uh, before uh, before uh, finishing the teaching of uh, days teaching uh, i would like to add one or two points uh, in regard in uh, in regard to the need of the of the topic number one what is the reason the president sometimes makes detain in passing a bill now there are two points there are two points two points are there behind it number one the whenever the president considers that a bill which is going to be passed and his consent is required the president go through generally goes through the bill the president goes through the bill the president consult the chief justice of the prime minister uh, chief justice of the supreme court whether the bill should be passed but in not in in case of uh, you know money bill or budget but in case of an ordinary bill but ordinary bill uh, whenever the bill uh, is passed going to be passed and they require the consent of the president the president may consult the chief justice of the supreme court whether the bill should be passed or detained in that case the suggestion whatever he uh, he was given by the chief justice of the supreme court sometimes he uh, he uh, he gets it detained and then the bill is not passed and within the 6 months it results in a deadlock now why because of some restrictions because of some you know uh, some bindings as per the need of the constitution are there that's why the president requires to be consulted and uh, he consults the chief justice of the supreme court and as per his instruction as per his advice he uh, follows the system and that's why this deadlocks uh, Uh, result it results in a deadlock up to this my dear students next day the next lesson i shall introduce the new lesson thank you